Hi, my name's Jovan and today you'll be learning how to add camera shake to your camera in Maya. I've got two videos from the past two weeks on how to make it in Blender and in Unreal Engine. I'll put that in a playlist in one of these corners. Now, in Maya, there are two main ways to add camera shake that I found. Unlike in Blender or Unreal, you can't actually add a randomly generated noise curve. You'll have to actually do it with expressions. So it's a little bit more difficult in this sense, um, but it still can be done. So with the first method, add a camera into the scene and go to the attribute editor on the right hand side of your screen. Drop down the menu saying film back and tick the shake enable option. Now, right click and press new expression. It should automatically select your camera and an attribute saying horizontal shake. Copy the label next to the text saying selected object and attribute. Then paste this into the expression section below and type in after it equals noise bracket frame asterisk and then F for frequency, asterisk and A for amplitude. The F is the frequency of your curve, so how often it goes, and the A is amplitude, so how high up and down it goes. Keep these values small for now, like 0.01 by 0.2. You'll be able to fine tune them later by right clicking on each of the shake boxes and pressing edit expression. And once you finish, clicking the edit button instead of clicking create. So press the create button to apply your horizontal shake and then do this with the adjacent vertical shake option. Once you've created an expression, the box will turn purple. And that's it. You can now check out your camera shake by looking through the camera view and pressing play. It won't apply to the perspective view, which is good because it won't actually mess with any curves you've already added onto the camera. So when you press play, you'll be able to see this shake that you've added in. And then you can go back and adjust it, as I said before, by pressing edit expression and then edit to save it. Now, I've written the expression that you need down in the comments below, but I've also got a script below, which automatically adds a camera into your scene and creates a camera shake that you'll need you can then press edit expression to adjust the actual camera shake values if you want. To import and run this script, go to the top bar of your screen and press Windows, General Editors, Script Editor. And then copy and paste the scripts into the MEL section at the bottom. Then click the play icon at the top of your script editor to run it. You can then adjust the expression as I said before by going into the shake boxes and adjusting the values and clicking edit to save them. You can then adjust the amount of shake by editing the expressions as I've explained before. Now onto the second option. It does require a bit more manual animation, but it does give you more control because you can actually see what you're doing. So you need to start with the camera in your scene. Then go to the channel box slash layer editor on the right hand side of your screen. Now go down to the bottom right corner and select the Anim tab. Then click the Layers option and click Create Layer from Selected. This will now give you two animation layers, one base layer and one new layer. So you can put your normal animations on the base Anim layer, then just select Anim layer one or whatever you decide to rename it to by clicking on it and then add your secondary animation movement onto there. Because they're on separate layers, the translation axes that you're editing on the new layer won't affect the original. So you can switch it on and off by pressing the mute button, which looks like a little error sign. You can add as many layers as you need and adjust them in the graph editor, which is the top bar under Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. A quick simple way to add a bit of movement to your camera is to add two keyframes, one at the start and one a few frames later, and then add a third keyframe in the middle. Move this third keyframe in the middle up or down to make a little bit of offset, and then at the top of your graph editor, press curves, and then go to post infinity and click cycles, and it will repeat this animation forever. This version of making camera shake is also great if you just wanna make your impact or bullet whizzing pass effect, because you can just make a separate animation layer and add that little bit of jitter here, and it not have to affect your actual original base animation curve, so it won't make that all messy and hard to follow. And that's it, those are the two ways that I use to add camera shake into my scenes in Maya. If you like what you saw and wanna see more, please consider liking and subscribing. I usually make videos on Blender, Unreal Engine, and virtual production, so I'll be getting back to that next week. If you want to see more of that, feel free to stick around. If you have any suggestions, please consider putting them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.